Alrighty guys, so we got the K truck in the garage. I somehow squeezed it through that little door. It's kind of funny, but we got my K truck in and we are looking to make it look like the gray car. So I'm gonna put a little clip here. This is the gray car. It has the Rocket Bunny over fenders on it, Nardo gray and obviously ridiculous twin turbo 240 LS in it. But we are gonna try and match it with these fender flares. You can't see much because it's in the bag. Let me take it out quick. All right, so they technically make a authentic Rocket Bunny kit. Put a picture up on the screen here. Now it looks sick, but it's also about $3,100 shipped to the door. Uh, would look sick. Definitely make it a little bit harder to tie the car down when it's in the trailer because um, we are gonna use this as a pit vehicle. And then there is another set of flares that's on eBay. And those are about four or $500. And then there's these which give the same effect and they're $45 on Amazon. So I wanna see if we can get these to work, give the same effect of the Rocket Bunny kit um, and making it look similar to the 240 without breaking the bank because we are gonna use this and it might get banged up when the guy's driving it or something like that. So it'd be nice to be able to replace this really easily. So let's go ahead and start test fitting and see what we can do. So it is interesting, this already has a wheel spacer on it that changes it from 4x100 to 4x114. So these are the wheels that offer that are off of it. And actually, these I looked these up. These are like $1,500 for the set. There's some rare, I don't even know, something racing wheels. Street, street R or something? Street WL? Interesting. They look pretty cool, but we got to make this thing match the 240, so we're going to have to go with something a little different. So, Looking at the flare, I kind of put it up there. I want to maybe keep the mud flap, so there's a little bit of dirt there. I'm going to use that as a mark and put the flare just outside of that, and I'll be able to trim the mud flap to put it back in that way. All the mud doesn't shoot up on the battery and that kind of thing. So And kind of makes it look lower, so that's kind of cool. So we'll set you up on the tripod, and I'm going to start screwing them in, and then we'll have to cut it for the door opening. So I drilled all these with a center point with a little drill bit just so we can get pretty close to center. And then I'm just gonna start with some self-tappers put in, and once we get it all on, we'll be able to switch it out for some nicer hardware. So I'm gonna start on this side where I want it, and then we're gonna kinda, of, see, bend it. They're kinda, of, that would look, Pretty good right there, so I'm gonna let this side go. And then we're gonna self tapper this one in. Alright, so I'm definitely worried that once we cut this, this piece is gonna move up or, or this one will move up. Not really sure. I'm hoping they stay relatively flush, but probably won't just because we have it bent so much but I guess we'll just come right across here and then we'll round both of the edges in make it nice and smooth and once it gets painted it should look good but I guess let's cut it and see if it whoop, goes in we'll see what happens So not the worst, not the best, but this definitely pulled in a little bit. Let's see it that way. So I'll try and do something to make it stand out a little bit and then press in there. Not a body guy, so I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I need to clean up this gap, make it all the same size, but at least the door does open and close, no problem. So that's pretty good. Let's move on to the back one. So on this rear one, this bedside sticks out a bit and this like a little bit of a lip here. So I think we'll just cruise right underneath that. We'll trim it there, trim it where my hand is over there. And that'll give us a little bit of fake low because it'll look like it's sitting much lower and should give us about the same wheel gap as the front with this down just a little bit. So let's go ahead and put this one on.
and there is the rear. Trimmed it off the back there and there. I cut it a little too short, but we can hit that with some black paint and it should look okay behind there. But overall, I think that flare looks pretty good. For $45 instead of $3,000 or $450, not too shabby. Both sides have the flares on. Looking pretty good. Show you the width of them. Definitely going to need some different wheels and tires. But both sides now have flares on them. I think it looks pretty good. So this is the first step of making it uh, look closer and closer to the gray 240 because it'll be the pit vehicle for it. Looking pretty good. I uh, just going to leave that it has a little bit of a messed up gap there but for what it's going to be used for that's fine it's not going to be a show car or anything but next we'll definitely have to do something with the wheels so all righty so that is going to do it for this video putting the fender flares on the k truck i think it looks awesome let me know in the comments what you think about it and uh Give me an idea of what wheels we should put on this thing. Um, I got a couple ideas and think I know what I'm going to go with. But uh, give me an idea of what you guys think. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll have more content for the K-Truck coming up probably next week. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.